Hi, this is Robert, and uh, here with another video where we're going to show you a new feature of Visual KPI called Near Me, and it's uh, related to our GeoMaps feature. And with me, I have Christian, who runs our development team and responsible for this feature. Hi, Christian. Hi, Robert. Thanks for having me today. No problem. Uh, so, Christian, let's just dive in. What is Near Me? Sure. So Near Me um, is a new feature we just released, and many of you uh, actually might be familiar with GeoMaps. Um, and it ties into that somewhat, although you don't need the two to make them work together, but they have some some components that, that are, are the same. Um, GeoMaps, just a quick recap, uh, basically if you add latitude and longitude to any of our objects, uh, they'll suddenly just appear um, on a map view. Um, and here you can see an example of that where we have a tank farm. Um, that we've added latitude and longitude to different pieces of uh, equipment here, in this case tanks and maybe some sort of pickup station, and uh, it'll overlay KPIs or values or trends or links or, or tables, whatever data you have, groups on top of this map, and you get some more information and you can kind of click and get a little window and it shows a spark line here, in this, in this case it's a KPI. What Near Me does is we kind of take this to the next level and basically with that latitude and longitude, we combine that with the GPS on the hardware. In this case, um, on the right window here, I have an iPhone simulator. And what it'll do is it basically applies a global filter, if you turn this on, um, across all of your assets, all of your, your groups, your KPIs, your values, your trends, your links, your tables, and it basically will filter out information that is within a certain entered distance of your current location. So it's kind of a proximity-based filter. So you're, show, you're saying in, in simple terms, rather than just show me everything I have on a map, show me what is near me, or even more specifically, show me what's going wrong near me, or something like That's that. That's correct. That's okay. correct. And let's take a look at that, Robert. So if, if you go into uh, filter, because this, this is a filter, and traditionally we have filters on KPIs um, where you can filter based on status. And of course in our software you can do things like grouping and pivoting, um, but really in the filter page you can filter you know, by status. That's what we had prior to this feature. Um, now you also have this concept of near me. So in addition to filtering by status, you can say, show me things that are within a certain radius of me. So I can actually to combine the two, I can say, you know, only show me things that are bad near me. In this case, I want to see everything that is near me. And again, we, we do support uh, different units of measures. In this case, um, I'm going to, I mean, my demonstration here is in Paris, so I'm going to use meters. And basically, all I'm going to do is click a little button here that says, uh, you know, checkbox says within 500 meters of me. It's found my location through the phone's hardware. And then when I hit OK, my screen here has now been filtered. And instead of having, you know, there's more information on the screen before, now it shows a little icon of where I am and the data that is in relationship to me. And this doesn't have to work on the, with, on the geo map only. It can also work in any of the views. So if I go to a list view, for instance, it will filter that data it's sort of by location, and it will organize it by what's closest to me to what's furthest from me within that radius. So in this case, I quickly see tank three here. Uh, it's it's behaving okay, and it's you know 65 meters away. Whereas my nearest thing that is needs work is this tank two. So that's a that's a great segue into what you think this is used for. What are the best use cases for this? Obviously, on this particular site, at this I think it's an oil refinery. You could be a maintenance crew or something and say. Uh, I need to see what I need to work on that's closest to me so I can make the best use of my time. But what else do you think uh, yeah, this I mean, is I, really I think that's useful? A, yeah, that's a great one, Robert. I mean, an, anybody with distributed assets, I think this could really, really play into it. From an engineering or a field maintenance guy or, or, you know, an engineer out on site, you know, if you have a tank farm, a large plant, um, I think this is a lot of value for that sort of work um, in maybe power transmission and distribution. But I think there, there's also other, other uses for this. Uh, for example, if you're an executive, um, you know, suppose you're based in New York City and you're, you're flying to, to France for, for a business meeting and you want to know uh, really quickly, you know, what's going on with my assets locally, my, my business metrics locally. And, you know, there's, there's the, our, our software is very flexible. So, of course, in this demonstration, we've already grouped things here. You can see this is uh, EMEA and France. So if you group these geographically, you can do it that way. But if you didn't group them geographically, supposing you had business metrics, you had profitability metrics, um, those may not be grouped uh, inherently by geography, so then you could want to filter within those groups and say, show me these metrics that are near me. So I think there, there are many use cases for this. Okay, great. So um, the other big question is, what does it take to configure this? So what do you have to do to set this up in the software? 
Sure, that, that's actually very easy. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and pull up my Visual KPI Designer. <clears throat> and again, these, this does share, this Near Me feature does share kind of one thing with, with, with the geo maps and this one piece of information you do need to add, and that's latitude and longitude. So every object has a latitude and longitude. And again, you can either enter these um, just right here into the designer, or if this data lives somewhere else, we can have a database with the latitude and longitude information, you can pull those from an interface. Which would be great what? for, say, moving objects, right? Yes, absolutely. So if okay. you have something with a transponder that's reporting a location and that goes back to a database, you have to find out exactly where that is. Excellent. So truck fleets, ship fleets, things like that. So once you've entered latitude and longitude, you can go into the uh, features section, and there are two settings here. And again, you don't have to have them both turned on. You can have uh, enabled geo maps, which then gives you that map overview. But if you don't want to turn that on, you just want your lists and your KPI maps and all of your other your bar charts, things like that, uh, to show up with this near me feature, you just have to enable near me. And it's simply a true or false. So if you're an existing customer and you have geo maps and you upgrade to this, it's just, you know, just add one, change one value from false to true out of the box. Or if you're a new customer, it's, it's, it's the same, same process. Great. So, um, and speaking of sort of the GeoMaps thing, um, let's talk about what this works on. So, the requirements for this, um, to show the, the Near Me feature, you need to have a browser on your device, could be a, on your PC or on your mobile device, or tablet, whatever, that supports the geolocation uh, spec in the, from the W3C, which is most modern devices, but there's a few that it doesn't work on, and also there's a few desktop browsers where it does work on it. It's just a little less accurate because it's getting it more from your IP address than it is from a uh, from a GPS, which is a, which is a lot more accurate. That, that's correct, Robert. And the, and the the more the more accurate your device is, if it has a satellite GPS connection, like you know iPhones and Androids and all these modern phones, that you're going to get within feet. Um, you know, if you're using a, a desktop browser, so you're using a Chrome browser, uh, it's going to probably be within miles because it's using an IP address. And although some of the the older devices don't support that, you know, moving forward, all newer devices are going to support this feature. This is absolutely a, a part of the W3C standard now, and and as newer devices come out, they'll all support this. Great. So let's. Uh wrap this up by saying um, anybody who is a customer using the pro or the enterprise version of Visual KPI gets this software for free. All you need to do is upgrade to the latest version. Uh, those who do not and want to try it out, uh, we offer a free trial and uh, I'll put a link on the screen to that. Um, so I guess uh, I guess that's it. Thanks for your time Christian and uh, this is a really cool feature and I think it's going to be really useful.